This is a podcast of the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Today we speak with Professor Paul Brennan about his research on chemistry, epigenetics and drugs. Hi Paul. Hi. So what is the link between genes, chemistry and new drugs? Well, chemistry sort of sits between a gene and a drug. And what sits in there as well is the field I work in, which is epigenetics. Mm -hmm. So genes control our body, but, ev but every cell in the body has the same genes. And we have very different cells, red blood cells, neurons, bone cells. So those genes are exquisitely controlled by a system called epigenetics. Mm -hmm. uh, drug discovery sits between the genes and the medicine. So it's trying to manipulate those genes to actually treat a disease. Epigenetics, which is a, which is a new area I work in, we try to link up with drug discovery to try to use drugs to control genes to treat disease. How do you go about finding new drugs? Well, it's a complicated process, of course. Um, but what we do is we have to first identify a target. This is a protein or something in a cell that we think is doing the wrong thing. And we want to identify that, which is the most challenging part, actually. And then from there, we try to develop a way of testing something against that protein or that target. And we also try to find new molecules that will interfere with that, hopefully in a positive way, to, to have a therapeutic effect. What drug targets has your work focused on then? So we're currently, as I said, working in epigenetic targets. We think epigenetics are key to really controlling how genes are expressed. Um, and so what we try to do is, is find drugs, or, or you're not drugs yet, but molecules that will affect epigenetic proteins to try to affect those genes as, as drugs. What are the most important lines of research that have emerged in this field over the last five to ten years? So the whole field of epigenetic drug discovery is fairly new. It's only been a sort of past five or ten years where people have actually looked at this. Um, and the concept that you can actually have drugs which are working by turning genes on and genes off is a new idea. So we're seeing effects there um, initially in cancer, but we hope to see epigenetic drug discovery be useful in many other areas. So the concept that epigenetics applies to many different diseases mm -hmm. is a pretty new idea. Why is your line of research important? Why, why should we fund it? So what we're going to be doing now is trying to look at treatments for dementia. Mm -hmm. Dementia is, is a horrible disease. It affects almost 1 in 10 people in the UK over the age of 65. Alzheimer's disease is, is, is the most common form of dementia. And as people live much longer, um, and they don't die as, as frequently from heart disease or cancer, mm -hmm. the number of people getting dementia is increasing dramatically, and that's horrible for them and for their families, and also for um, all of us as taxpayers who have to um, pay the NHS to, to take care of these people. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so, although that sounds very negative, there's a lot of research going on into dementia, and what we would like to do is, is help in that process to find new drugs for dementia. And due to our existing interest in epigenetics, what we want to do is find drugs that utilize epigenetic pathways and modulate those genes that we think will be useful in dementia. How does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? Within the department of, of the Nuffield Department of Medicine, the, we, we span a whole range of research from very early understanding of biology and, and how cells work and how, how, how um, biological systems work, all the way to testing things in clinical trials to see if they're actually useful as drugs. Medicinal chemistry sits in the middle of that, so we don't really do the basic science. What we try to do is take the basic science and understanding of how disease works, how biology works, pick out those key targets that we think are useful to, uh, to interfere with um, as a treatment and then try to develop treatments for them. And if we find something useful, then eventually that will be tested at the far end of the translational pipeline um, in, in the clinic. Thank you, Paul. That was really interesting. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.